Hello and welcome back to Outside Xbox. We're here playing Mickey Mouse in Castle Illusion, which is a sort of remake of the Mega Drive version of the game, but it's uh, it's a pretty flash one. Uh, for a start, there wasn't all this 3D running around a castle, presumably. I played this on the Master System, because I'm the world's oldest man, and uh, I think back then it was just a, uh, a flat 2D screen with um, sort of three doors on mm. it, whereas now you can sort of run around it. It looks lovely. And everything. It does look lovely. The music's nice as well, sort of remixed... Uh, versions of the of the old songs if you remember those so um we're going to have a crack at world two which is uh the toy i think the toy box level mickey emerged into a toy box of peril another of the witch's illusions so one of the new things it's got is um there's a narrator uh who sort of just says stuff yeah uh which is interesting i guess didn't have that in the original Makes um, it a bit more of a, like a, a fairy tale. I yeah, guess. I do really like the music. It's like the incidental music you get when you're walking around uh, mm. Disneyland. The platform is quite loose. Mickey's uh, a bit slidey, mm. um, which is tricky when you're trying to do precise jumps, as yeah. you are all the time in this game. Sort of like yeah. a return to the sort of hardcore platforming of old. I mean, it's it's very much a game that like kids would find appealing, but actually they might find it a bit difficult. Yeah, although you know it's probably comparable to how it was. Yeah, back in the I guess 90s. we managed when we were. Nippers. Yeah, although didn't really have anything else to do in those That's days. True. As kids nowadays, you know, with their iPads and their uh, their drugs. <laughs> <laughs> now this is uh, this feels new. I don't remember this on the Master System. I didn't have Mode Seven to wait for the snares yeah. for that. So we're on a quest to rescue Minnie. Right. She's been kidnapped by a witch. Miserable. Yeah. The witch. A miserable witch called Miserable. She look. The witch looks exactly like the one from Snow White. Are yeah, they I think the it same is. witch? Uh, I don't know if they've got this. I mean, I don't know if they've got the same name. But God damn it! But uh, yeah, I mean, character-wise, they're identical. Maybe it's just uh, she's just picking up some work. Some evil witch yeah. freelancing. This is auto run, by the way. I'm not uh, oh, really? pressing forward. Yeah, which makes it. I don't. Yeah, it's a weird. bit trickier. It's kind of like a puzzle from the TV series Nightmare. <laughs> Side step to your left. Yeah. No, the other left. <laughs> yes. All right. Castle now, statue piece. To be a rabbit in a magic act. I seem to recall in the uh, Master System version, you had to jump and then press another button for him to sort of position his bum to land on their heads. Like <laughs> the bum <laughs> positioning button. Yeah, right. Hey, a key. Oh, God, I jumped straight <laughs> over it. That was amazing. <laughs> that definitely wouldn't have happened in the TV yeah. version. Imagine if I died then. <laughs> Just fell to my death. Here's where Mickey's story ends. It's Run. the narrator. He's canonically dead. <laughs> Because of what you did. So what I was going to say was, uh, the bum positioning button's a bit like the pogo stick in DuckTales. And yes. You also played. Similar. I don't know, I think, I didn't play the original DuckTales, um, as I said in that video. Mm. Um, but I you know, I feel like this is uh, this is better. I don't, know why yeah. I, I don't know why I think that, I just do. Well, it, it's probably my old Sega-Nintendo rivalry stirring up inside yeah, me. Yeah, I guess so. I think the thing is that, Definitely as an XBLA game, this is better because they've spent a lot more time turning it into a, a proper... You know, it's a modern platformer. Yeah, it's got all these old sequences. school sort of sensibilities, mm. essentially. Which, by which you mean it's really hard. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Again, it's this similar problem that we had with um, DuckTales in that having just played Rayman Legends, yeah, you're used which to is really good. Yeah. I'm sort of, yeah, a bit more used to, to that. And, oh, God. What kind of attack pattern is that, you jerk? I'm hoping for the one with Donald Duck in it though as well. Is that F Forest of Illusion or uh, World of Illusion? World of Illusion, that was the one. Because that had two player cult, right? It did, yeah. And uh, you had like magic capes that you could swipe to make um, baddies turn into like butterflies and stuff. There we go. That's awesome. So I just wasn't jumping in the exact right way <laughs> to get out there. Old school game. Thanks, and... old school platformer. Weird, oh, flip the level. Sure. Weird that she's got a toy room. It is a bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> Psych. So what other 90s platformers would we like to see remade? Quackshot. Quackshot. Definitely Quackshot. I want to see Robocod remade. I thought really? Robocod was brilliant. Was yeah. it? Yeah, with his like extendy body. Yeah. He's great. Maybe some disappointed kids on Christmas morning. Oh, the robot! What happened to our presents? Does look like a killbot now. Looks like, the, um, red eyes. looks like the Destructoid logo. It does, actually. Corruption. 
all these kids are going to be like, where are our presents, Mummy and Daddy? And they're like, sorry, Tiny beloved smashed them. Beloved children's character Mickey Mouse came in and smashed them up with marbles. I don't really understand how you can sort just of headshot judge it. Headshot him with a marble. Yeah. It's something you can ju- judge his attack patterns, they seem kind of random. Yeah. Whoa, oh God, his unicycle's still going. Awesome. Oh, that was homing, it went around a corner. <laughs> Physics on holiday in the Castle of Illusion. Maybe. This is like, oh man! This is like the end of Indiana Jones and the uh, and the last, last crusade. crusade. Yeah, the name of God. But in Latin, Jehovah starts with an I. <laughs> oh, damn it! Yeah, oh, only the penitent man will pass. Oh, oh come on! I can see why witches get a bad rap. <laughs> Entirely justified. By no. that. <laughs> All right. Help me out here. My um, memory's terrible. I, don't, I can't work out what the rhyme or reason is for this. Oh, they're not reflected in the mirror. Ah, that makes sense. Yeah. Well done, us. Okay, good work figuring that out, guys. Oh, what? <laughs> and, and still, and still failing. failing. And then, uh, and then and we're out. Hooray. Well, that took us longer than I think it should have. <laughs> yeah, I'm embarrassed. I think you should be too. Where's that car? Oh, amazing. Oh, sweet <laughs> jump. Has it changed your opinion now? You know it's got sweet car jumps. 10 out of 10. All right, we're going to fight the boss now. Uh-oh, what is the boss? Do you know? I think it was some kind of terrifying clown, I seem to remember. Makes sense. Jack in the Box. Maybe. Yeah, actually it was. You're right, it's a Jack in the Box. On a drum. On a giant drum. There you go, had a clown face, that's what I was that remembering. Is pretty horrifying. Oh no, is right, Mickey. This is a disco. Oh, they made it 3D, this boss. I'm pretty sure I've had this nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> At some point. Oh, he's punched oh, he punch himself in the face. He's one of those he's bosses. He's busy now, now you have to spring his head. Boing, screw you. Alright. Attack Whoa. pattern learned. Right, we need to, oh, are you not dead yet? One more. Come on, rule One three. Surely. It's the rule of five in this case. Whoa. Shockwave. Can't just change up your attack pattern now. Alright, this is it. Time for the Coupe de Grasse. What does that mean? Cup of Grass? Yeah. That's exactly what I mean. Yeah, we got the orange Chaos Emerald. Branding. Sorry, whatever it is. Rainbow gem, is that it? Was it? Yeah. Alright, so that was us uh, playing the uh, Toy Room level of the uh, Castle of Illusion HD remake coming out on XBLA today, I believe. Mm. Uh, Wednesday the 4th of September. Uh, what did you think, Mike? I enjoyed it. I think it's really good, actually. I think it looks lovely and it's... Seems to play like an old school platformer, which uh, tickles my nostalgia node, which is hidden deep within. Yeah, pleasingly, my gut. <laughs> pleasingly retro. I think is the uh, conclusion. Thanks for watching outside Xbox, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.